Hey everyone, it's Zadira. I'm back and I have a video about building this barn. I thought I would go ahead in my single player and build it. That way you don't have to painfully watch. And then on our server that we are playing with a group of people that a member of our Discord is hosting, I've showed how to build this barn from scratch all the way up from the very beginning. So I want to come back over here on my single player and give you a tour of what it looks like after it's finished. I think I'll go, I'm in creative mode. Let me go ahead and in fly mode so I can give you a really good, uh, good look at it from the front. It's the front and the back are exactly the same. And I show exactly how to go from step one all the way from ground all the way up to how to build this if you are interested in seeing kind of how we build it together. But I started out, now the different, look, there's a, a couple of differences with this one because this one I did use stone foundations and stone for the bottom, for the foundations of it. But other than that, it's pretty much similar. So you're gonna need uh, stone foundations and you're gonna need wood walls and thatch. Let's show, I'll show you. Thatch, um, sloped roofs, and we I painted the sloped roofs this kind of yellow color. The, I, I just don't know how to do my settings properly. To me, I'm still, I don't like the way things are looking in my single player. They're, everything is, seems very dark. In fact, because I was in creative mode, I was able to put tons of lights these uh, omnidirectional lights and the lamp post all over because I wanted you to be able to see. I don't feel like I can really see very well. So the, I did have to use a lot of these lights and um, but we can go ahead and go in and I can show you what how we did it. But most of it is walls and sloped walls and the this is the wood just the regular wood dino gateway and the dino gate wood gate so easy pretty easy and i actually did all of this on our server without creative mode using a beaver to gather my wood because i needed so much wood so it made it super easy so you don't have to be in creative mode at all to build something like this it's super simple i'm using the um the uh these Plants. Let's see. What are they called? Plant Species X for decoration. But then you can also use them to protect your barn. I had to take them. I had to turn them off and go into sleep mode because they were killing all the little dodos that were coming around here. But if you have dangerous animals like raptors and things like that, you could have these to protect your barn. But it also adds beauty. I, I really. I wish it wasn't quite so dark. Because I wish you could see the detail on these. I mean, and if you didn't have to see, let's do backspace so you don't have to see the words. Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh, that is just really beautiful. The, how they did these plants. So pretty. So let's go in and see what it looks like from the inside. So first of all, what you need to do is you need six foundations side to side, uh, edge to edge, and then you can go back as far as you want and i showed that and uh, on the one i showed on the lost world server all the information is below if you need to know how you need to join our discord and get to know kwan k-u-a-n he is the one who is hosting and he will help you get in the server and so that's what you need to know to do that but anyway so uh, you need to start out you need six side six down and then you can go back as far as you want so you come in and you can see once you're in we have a little area here that we closed off and made into kind of a little workshop or storage area back behind there because this is the stairs going up in the in the barn i built on the server on the uh, unofficial server i didn't put windows in along the edges because I don't really like the greenhouse windows that we have. I don't know. But 
on this one I went ahead and put the windows but I don't have the glass in them so it's really up to you if you want windows or not uh, definitely a, a person's preference of what they want I used ramps going into the barn so like I say it's six across so you have two walls and then you have your space for your two two foundations for your gate and then two foundations for your other two walls and here you can get a better idea so two walls two wall two spaces and then two walls so that's uh, that's how you start out and I'll stand here for just a minute and you can kind of get an idea so you did went uh, going from left to right windowed wall windowed wall gate windowed wall wood wall the next row I went up and you can see it's a sloped wall and a regular wall gate regular wall and sloped wall so that's how you go and you really though I shouldn't be taking so much time here because you can watch the video where I actually build it but we can put little areas in here you can actually make this into a huge base and cordon off when uh, doorways and make a lot of room for like different base members or you can have it fixed so you can have separate animals I have my bears right there so you can you can have the bigger areas or the smaller areas whichever you want I can see I messed up on my painting my windows here with the spray spray painter I didn't have the right numbers in there but and one thing I do want to comment this window right here has been the wood on the uh, outer wood is actually painted white can you guys tell any difference maybe maybe a tiny <laughs> I was very sad about that they are not white most of my barns I've ever made I've had white trim and red paint this is the core it's c-o-r-e color red it's not red it's core c-o-r-e if you're wanting to know that but I was disappointed because normally this I would have this painted white and it would be very much of a contrast but that's it's white is not white unless they change it unless they fix it okay so then so you have this area like I say you can go back nine I think I went back nine one let's see let's count one one two three four five six seven okay I went eight on this one one two three four five six yes on the one I built on the server I went nine I think I'm pretty sure and it just gives you just a little bit more room so over here I made like an area where we can quickly make, come in and make up a lot of um, things with the mortar and pestle with the forge and the smithy so you can do a little work area like that because there's so much room you can put in all kinds of storage chests so you can bring your dyno in right here and move it over we don't have pulling in here so you can pull your you can run your dyno in and then pull go stand here and get all the wood out put the wood in put, get the wood out put, so stuff like that so that if you're over encumbered and so that gives you a lot of area there but you can the th great thing is once you have your foundations down you can pretty much range it the way you want right and then I have a little doorway here that kind of shuts this off but I have the generator behind here and um, if you haven't seen how the generator works it's really amazing you don't have any more wires so if I do if I click uh, oh no you know I'm not going to do this because we're right now we're having a see I knew it I knew I shouldn't have done it <laughs> we're having a bad bug oh my gosh okay we're having a bad bug with there let me get my gasoline out and put it back down oh my gosh we're having a bad bug with our mouse right now in the game okay place there we go and let's see let's put our gasoline back in and turn it back on because that's our lights now oh that's interesting seems bright let's see if it if it kept I put these settings all yeah yes okay it's on setting one that three if you look in these lights you can uh, change the intensity of the lamp and so when you first put them down they're level three intensity but that's very bright so I've put them all in one and that helps okay so we're not going to do any more of that I wanted to show you how it worked but, but you all you do is you put your gasoline in and then you'll have a bubble 
and it will show you the whole entire range and it's huge everything inside that range will be powered so that's how that works i think i showed that in, a, in another video so then we made an upstairs where you can have a loft area up here and there's stairs going up and so that next level after you get up past the the uh, two walls up so let me make sure and clarify that it's not actually two walls up it's one wall up one wall and a uh, sloped wall so once you get that up that high then you put your roof line on and up on top of that roof line you put these and these are the I hate open in my inventory man wood quarter walls and so you put a whole row of wood quarter walls and that just gives it a little bit of a difference so that you don't have just a straight peaked roof all the way straight up that gives you a little bit of a bounce up and it makes it look nice and then you finish off <laughs> the trees coming through you finish off all your roofs two layers here and two layers here and I use that a lot of times when I'm making the barn I'll use I can use um, wood or I can even use stone and have a stone roof it's according if you're building in danger areas of anything that can destroy it this part over here I did it two different ways this part because the uh, because the gateway comes out and it I'll show you well I'll show you first see because if your the gateway comes up this tall so your um, your floor is gonna show through when when the gates open but it doesn't really matter when the gates closed so if you want to you can make like a little loft area and and pull the pull these floorings back a little bit so you don't even have to have those go up to that area anyway so um this is the loft area a lot of times sometimes i've even like just had a walkway around and had this middle open so you can look down or even have railings from here to here and have all this part opened up so like i say once you have your foundations down you can do anything you want with your barn and make it the way you want to make it. So a lot of times I'll just leave, uh, if, especially if I'm short on resources, I'll leave half of it open. I'll leave that all that part open and then I can have beds up here uh, to make sure and have some place that I can spawn if I, if I die, when I die. So anyway, you can have your feeding trough, you can have your composting bin, you can have everything nice and neat ready at the fingertips. Oh, a lot of times, too, what I do up here, uh, I'll put the grinder and the fabricator up here because they're so big and I don't really have a lot of places down in the house for sure. So I'll put those big items up there. So that's, that's how this looks. It's pretty easy. Be sure and I'll put a link to the stream where we were streaming built that's why it's so dark it's raining boy it sure does rain a lot um that's good if because i don't have to get a drink of water but <laughs> still it makes it everything so dark but that's how it looks let's go look at the other the other side and also i'll give you a sneak peek well actually well let's just do it i'll show it off and then uh, we can build it maybe on stream but it's here's my greenhouse isn't that fun i just love it it's i painted it kind of i had a hard time finding a paint color that would show up most of the paint the lighter paint colors don't show up you either get light transparent or you get big giant staring your face bright colors <laughs> so it's kind of hard to find a color that i really liked i don't like the plain color for sure and i don't like this i don't like the greenhouse i don't like these lubed louvers on here on the windows that i mean it looks very cool and it does probably look like, uh, really like what a real greenhouse might look like. But I just don't like it. And there's a definite glare on the glass that it, I wish, I just wish we had our, I wish we had S plus or Ke <laughs> Castle Keats and Forza for going to be wi wishing, right? <laughs> might as well wish for the bit up, the, you know, for the biggest, but. I'm also, of course, this is single player, and I've always had problems growing gardens. The other day, all of these gardens were growing. They all had plants in them. Let's, let's turn our backspace on so I can show you. They're fruitlings. 
So there's the long grass. All of these were full of plants the other day, and now they've just disappeared. There's fertilizer, and they're irrigated, and they're in a greenhouse. They have 300, um, uh, what do you call it, where you have all, you have the best, let's see, maybe it'll tell, oh, should not have opened my inventory. There we go. Um, anyway, you have your greenhouse buff. So there should be no reason that I'm not seeing my plants. And I hope it's not like this on servers. But see, that one's growing fine. <laughs> but I planted all the seeds available so that we could see. And I was really hoping... I'm going to take off our backspace again. I was really hoping that these plants... We're going to look extra special, the ones that are the cyan berries and all that. But I've got these out here, too, and they're not growing. This is the, uh, I forget, this is the cyan berries. I wanted to use them for decoration more than needing the berries. My bears get plenty of berries, but I was hoping that they were going to grow up really pretty bushes. As I've been uh, exploring around the island... I found these really pretty bushes that have all these different colors of flowers on them. And I was hoping that's what they were, but I'm not having any luck. But I used, I used my sidewalk making technique. If you watched uh, Building the Cottage, we showed how to build a sidewalk. And then I added these uh, stone columns that it, when you have a stone column out and you press R, it makes them go s sideways. So I thought that made a really good path border. And then I also used the little quarter ceilings. And so you can kind of place the quarter ceilings. And this doesn't match up exactly. If you notice, this where I'm standing is a little bit lower than this part. So then I put the quarter ceilings in. Anyway, I thought, boy, wouldn't it be pretty to have a fountain right here? Or some kind of statue or something. Wouldn't that be pretty? Maybe a artifact if I get to the point, get around to start going to get artifacts. It's weird how plants come in and out as I move my camera slowly, huh? It's very interesting. Then I made the path go and, and extended it on back here. And again, it here's where it kind of bumped up a little bit. And then I put that pillar. You wouldn't notice, but I put that pillar down there. Because this one right here is a ceiling. So there was a place right there that was open. And that covered that up. So those are some hints and tips of how to make uh, kind of more fun, I think. But here's this side of the barn. And it looks identical to the other side, except it doesn't have the plants in front. So really, it was kind of hard to tell. Anyway, I'm hoping to see lots of pictures of barns from people. That would be super fun. And see what all of y'all have come up with. We People were kind of throwing out ideas and suggestions in the stream so it's fun seeing how different people can build the same thing but yet change it all up and make it their own but i think this is going to end this little video right here i'll put the link about how to build the house the cottage and all that we'll have all the links down below and we'll be streaming trying to stream nightly i hope and so be sure and try to catch those be sure and subscribe so you can get notified when we're streaming. All right. Talk to you later, guys. Thanks so much. Bye.